What's up, Dykes Fam? If you guys would like a shout out in a future Dykes Fam video, here's how you do it. You're gonna head over to the, our Instagram account, which is linked in the description below. You're gonna find the thumbnail for today's video, and you're gonna leave us a nice, awesome comment, and you could be picked for a shout out in a future Dykes Fam video. What's up, Dykes fam? What's up, Dykes kids? <laughs> and Peyton man? <laughs> William, where are we headed right now, bud? To school. You guys are going to school? <laughs> but what's today? We hope you're doing awesome in your world, which is probably our world. <laughs> Hayden and Nikoi are already at school. Me and mom have a whole bunch of things that we gotta get done with the RV. We got a few things we wanna show you guys. It's kinda scary. <laughs> RV living isn't for the faint of heart. <laughs> no. We gotta get that thing cleaned up because mom, are we gonna do like a little trip coming up soon? Yeah, we have spring break next week. So we've got one week to get some repairs done and to get that thing cleaned out and ready for some living. We may have made a mistake. <laughs> we don't know if we're gonna be able to live in it at this point. Um, so, anyways, we'll, we'll show you guys a couple of the things we just found out about our motorhome. What's the Dyke Fan motto? Peyton, do you know what the Dykes fam motto is? Be nice to everyone. Yeah, you nailed it. Oh, give your little brother a hug. Oh, to hug. Rosie, tell Bubba bye. Bye bye. Say bye, Peyton. Bye bye. Bye bye. Boys, have a guys have a good day at school. Okay, bye guys. See you, yeah. William. Love you, boys. I'm picking you up today, bud. Okay, bye. Bye. Roswell <laughs> has been like really obsessed with making sure that the kids give him a hug before they get out of the car. The other day I dropped William off and he didn't give Roswell a hug. Roswell cried the whole way home. Go back to the school. I want to hug William. He was so brokenhearted. So William's been really good about making sure he gives him hugs now before he gets out. Good brothers. <laughs> and he did it to Nikoi yesterday too at gymnastics. He loves his brothers and sister. Shout outs! Guys, you ready for some shout outs? Let's do it. Check us out, Say thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Antonia. Day 15. Thank you. Carter Reeves. Thank you. Hi, Shark Life. One, two, three, four, one. Thank you. Which one? Thank you. JYP. Thanks for watching um, comments. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we're in our motorhome. You had on. Thanks, Roz. You're so nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously though, every time I think that this is our motor home, like we own this, I get so excited. I know, it's kind of crazy. I love it. It's an exciting adventure just thinking about it. Okay, oh. now, despite what I said earlier, we are still super excited about having this motor home, but... We're just not excited that we have some unwanted guests <laughs> already living. I don't even know if I'd call them guests. I think they're residents. They, li they lived here before we bought the motor home. Yeah, when we bought this, we didn't realize it was gonna come with some scary already living in it. <laughs> yeah, we found some creature rem remnants. Some creatures, more than one. I noticed that there was something on this curtain over here. And it kind of creeped me out a little bit because it was a decent sized bug. It was about the size of a nickel. And one I had never seen before. And so I looked online to find out what it was. And I knew what it was as soon as I saw it. What was it, Christina? It is the dreaded blood sucking assassin bug. Yeah. You guys it, ever heard of assassin bugs? It has a scary name because they are scary. They suck your blood. They're also called a kissing beetle because they bite you on your lips 
and they only come out at night and bite you at night and they hide during the day. I guess people have died they like from bacteria a disease. Yeah. yeah. So like a tick. Well they like they like rodents. If they've sucked the blood sucked the blood from a rodent <laughs> and then they find their way onto a human you think about the type of diseases and bacteria that they, they can carry. spread it. Yeah. We keep finding dead ones in here. Josh mm -hmm. did find one that was alive. Well, well, see, that's the thing. I'm not entirely sure it was alive because Christina found one yesterday that she thought was alive. And okay. we hosed it down with bug spray. It was hanging on to some carpeted area over here in this corner. And I thought for sure it was alive. I sprayed it down with some bug killer. And then come to find out it was completely crispy. So it was like hanging was there like it was alive, but it was dead. Okay, you better show them what they look like. Do we okay. have any in here? Yeah, I, f I found one. We've probably found like six, six of them now, total. But they were all dead, I think. <laughs> Okay, that, my friends, is an assassin bug, or a kissing bug, or some scientific name that I cannot pronounce. <laughs> so if any of you had any experience with assassin bugs and you know how to get rid of them, go over to Instagram right now, find our picture of today's video, and comment below and let me know how to get rid of them. I don't know what to do, I don't know how to prevent them, we've never had this problem before, and I'm so scared to sleep in here with these scary bugs. So let us know if you know. They just want to get close to your lips. Ah! Not... Ah! Actually, you know what? What? Maybe that's what, where these sores came from on my lips. Whatever. Uh, Josh is just a Maybe you're an assassin bug. <laughs> that was the first thing that we found in our motorhome. Then we decided to uh, try to clean up this bunk area and try to figure out how the bunk beds go. And I had to remove this little panel back here, and that's when we found our second unwanted resident of the motorhome. Okay, guys. You see all this stuff down here? Yeah. You see those little black dots? Yeah, guess what? That's not candy, that's poop. That's animal poop. And it's all underneath this. Um, we also found there's some poop over here in that corner and in that corner. And you see that hole back there? See this hole right there? Yeah, let's follow it. So there's a hole right here that goes underneath. I haven't checked down there. I don't know where that goes. And, but there's this hole back here that leads into the master bedroom right behind these drawers. Ugh. Guys, if you have a weak stomach, you don't like seeing mouse poop, now's the time <laughs> to fast forward, I guess. Josh I might throw up right now. Guys, seriously, <laughs> seriously, there's quite a bit of poop. So, here we go. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's our outdoor DVD player. Now you're thinking, oh, it doesn't look too bad. There's, yeah, there's mouse poop over here in this area. And then there's some insulation that they've tore up over here. I hope that they're still not living in here. I haven't been able to find them yet, but it's always possible. Oh yeah, you know, there's a little bit of poop here. But this is this drawer is where it gets a little bit scary. That, that right there, guys. You see that? Let me zoom in. That's a whole lot of turds. Assassin bugs are notorious for living in the homes of like mice and rats and any kind of rodent because that's what they feed on. So we think that all the mice that were in here must have attracted the assassin bugs to live here. Another huge problem is that Tayden is super, super allergic to mice. Like mice and horses are actually on the top of his allergy list besides pistachios. So it's really dangerous if like we didn't get this cleaned up because it can make him really sick. I haven't seen all the mouse poop underneath the drawer. Josh says I need to look at it. I'm a little scared. Oh my gosh, that is so much poop. It's so nasty. Oh, yuck. Seriously, you guys, how are we going to get this all cleaned up? Oh man, that was way more mouse poop than I ever want to see. And like <laughs> urine and like nasty, like... 
I don't know if we're gonna have to rip out that carpet. I don't even know if we can. It's like underneath the closet. Oh, if you guys live in an RV, like we could really use some advice and some help because this is not quite going the way that we thought. We're hoping it was like just ready to go. I know everything else is so clean and like well taken care of and it's like, I think that we probably would have never even known that there was a problem like because that drawer's in there and unless you take the drawer completely out you would never see all that people you just sit and live with it and if you weren't going to use this as a bunk bed it was just like a table and chairs you would never know that this was all hiding underneath that platform either so it's like who knows how long you're it's gonna been buy, there if you're gonna buy an rv inspect every square inch that's my that's my advice because i'm an expert ew, ew, ew. Rosie, do you want to live with the mice do you want to live with the mean bugs? No. No. Say, get out of here. Get out of here, mean bug. Get out of here, <laughs> mean bug. Get out of my house, huh? Yeah. Get out of our motor home. <sighs> this is our motor home. Okay, so fingers crossed. Wish us luck that we can get this all cleaned up and that everything will be okay. And disinfected. <laughs> ah!